Changing tack now though, there are few more important things to Australian parents than the education of their children. So it was so frustrating to learn that on Friday, the federal and state government education ministers got together and ticked off on a plan to dumb down NAPLAN, the testing regime for school students. The decision to change the way that students who fail to meet basic minimum standards are measured and described represents the triumph of good feelings over reality. It'll also reduce the number of bands into which students are sorted from 10 down to four, giving parents less specific information about their child's progress. In 2022, 14.9% of year nine students failed to meet basic literacy standards. Now, if you can't read in year nine, your parents, your school and your support network need to know and they need to help fast. Ministers agreed to a mollycoddling change of language from failing to meet minimum standards to needs additional support. Before it came, before the minister's meeting though, ACARA, the relevant bureaucracy, had proposed that these students who are, let's face it, they're failing, they said that they should be described using the descriptor of developing. That's not even accurate. If you can't read to the national minimum standard by year nine, you're not developing. You've stopped. For this doublespeak alone, a car should be hauled over the coals. But here's the real problem. The changes also limit the number of people falling into that bottom category to about 10% of students. That means that standards in education can continue to fall without the transparency that comes from measuring performance against objective standards. Dallas McInerney from New South Wales Catholic Schools observed that this change in approach would mean 12,000 children would fall through the cracks on the writing test based on the 2022 results because they failed to meet the current minimum standard but wouldn't be in the bottom 10%. Playing tricky games with the statistics in an attempt to obscure Australia's underperformance in education is the last thing we should be doing. There's another adverse impact from fiddling with the way educational performance gets measured in the NAPLAN statistics. Parents like the way that NAPLAN gives them an indication of how well their school is performing. And with 14 years of data now under the belt, that information is capable of being used by a layperson to understand broader trends in school performance. It's finally become a useful body of information for people who aren't experts. It's what it was designed to be. But these changes mean that future data won't be comparable to previous years. It means that it now becomes worthless for that comparison purpose. That means less school and teacher accountability. Now, this is a move taken straight from the teachers' union playbook, who have never liked the idea that performance was able to be measured objectively. As Mr McInerney so sensibly said, in a time of falling learning outcomes, we should be putting the microscope closer to the problem, not pulling it back. I couldn't agree more.